Your iPhone does a lot of work, and over time it might get slower. And no, this isn't Apple purposely and controversially slowing down your iPhone to prolong its usefulness. This is all on you. And whether you're rocking an iPhone 6S, a la Captain America, or have a shiny new iPhone 13 Pro, your phone gets slower the more you use it, especially surfing the World Wide Web, looking up weird facts like, did you know that a flamingo can fly 35 miles an hour? That's a fast bird. Now, over time, all that web browsing starts to clog up your cache, which makes your iPhone slow, but you can make it fast again by clearing that cache. And today, I'm going to show you how to do that. Most people only need to clear their caches once every month or two. That's generally when your browser builds up a cache large enough to start slowing things down. Though, if you frequent a ton of sites regularly, I recommend clearing your cache more frequently. Whether it's Chrome, Safari, or well, any browser, when you visit a website, your phone downloads data like photos, banners, and other info. And to help speed up that process, most browsers store some of this data in a cache so it's easier to retrieve next time. Kind of like if you left your keys on your kitchen counter so you can easily find them next time you want to use them. Over time, a browser's cache gets outdated and the data no longer matches the current data actually used on the website. So clearing your cache gives your browser a mini reset and speeds up your web browsing again. Now here's how you can clear your iPhone's cache and I'm gonna walk you through three of the most popular iOS browsers. Let's start with Safari. Safari is the default browser on your iPhone. And when you clear the cache, it will also affect any Apple devices signed in to your iCloud account. And as a result, the caches on all your Apple products will be cleared, which for most people is great. But word of warning, you'll need to sign back into any websites you were logged into. Here's how you clear your Safari cache. First, open settings. Scroll down and select Safari. Then scroll down and tap advanced and then tap website data. After a moment or two, you'll see the contents of Safari's cache. To clear it, tap the remove all website data button and then confirm by tapping the remove now button. That's it. Let's move on to Chrome. Clearing your iPhone's Chrome cache requires a few more steps and you'll need to do things through the Chrome browser itself. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up the Chrome app. Next, on the bottom right, tap the three dot menu icon. A pop-up window will appear with thumbnails across the top. Slide the thumbnail icons over until you get to settings. Scroll and select privacy, then tap clear browsing data, then tap time range. Now Chrome gives you the ability to clear the cache for different time ranges. I'm gonna select all time. Lastly, go back to the clear browsing data menu and make sure that browsing history, cookies, site data, and cache images and files are all selected. Then at the bottom of the screen, tap the clear browsing data button. You'll need to confirm this by tapping the clear browsing data button a second time. And well, that's it for Chrome. Let's move on to Firefox. Clearing your iPhone's cache in Firefox is actually pretty straightforward. First, open up Firefox. Then in the bottom right corner, tap the hamburger menu icon to open up an options window. At the bottom, select settings, then scroll down to the privacy section and select data management. And now you have an option. You can either go to the bottom and tap clear private data, this will clear data from all the sources that you've selected, which you can customize if you like. Or you can tap website data to view and clear data for all individual sites. Under the website data menu, there's also a clear private data button at the bottom of the screen. And that's it for Firefox. After all that, I need to clear up my brain's cache, but let me know in the comments if you have any questions or wanna share any other pointers about this. Also, we do these videos covering Apple stuff every week. Let us know what topics you'd like us to cover. And last, do all the YouTube things. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and thank you for watching.